snowman is going to have a place to stand. And we want it to look like a cold and windy day. So we're going to use a bunch of spiral lines. What are we making? Lines. And we're going to be using what's called the cold colors. What are they? Cold colors. Boys and girls, if you look at the rainbow right there on my wall, you will see the first three colors in the rainbow are, say it with me, red, rainbow. orange, yellow. Those are the warm colors. They remind us of things that are warm or hot like the sun or fire. We're not using those colors today because warm things would melt a snowman. And I don't think I would like that, would I? Yeah, no, no I, don't, I don't want to be melted. So today we're gonna to use what's called the cold colors because those are a snowman's favorite colors. The cold colors are the last four colors in the rainbow. Let's say it. Green, <coughs> blue, blue indigo, and violet, violet, which is a fancy word for Purple. Boys and girls, look right here. I'm gonna be painting with the cold colors today. So, am I using these colors? No. Am I using these colors? Yes. There's a whole bunch of them. There's light blue, dark blue, turquoise, bright blue, navy blue, violet, or purple. I can use any of these. Can I use all this one? No. 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 to wake up the paint. Let's see if we can turn the light on. All right, wake up, light blue. I said, mother, wake up. Sorry. Wake up, bright blue. Hi, Miss Stevens. <laughs> wake up, turquoise. No. Uh, yes, you're getting up. The alarm clock is going off. Beep, beep, beep. Wake up, bright blue. Hi, Miss Stevens. Wake up, navy blue. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, purple. My name's Violet. <laughs> Wake up, Violet. My name's Purple. Okay, okay. <laughs> when I'm painting spirals today, before you paint, I want you to take your paintbrush. Don't put any paint on it. Wait until it's not painted. I want you to do something. I want you to hold it in your hand. And I want you to take your other hand and open it. Open up, hand. And then you're going to paint on your hand. Not with paint. Not with paint. Just pretend paint because I want you to see how to use your brush. Watch. You take your paintbrush and you're painting. Of course, we already know that our paintbrush is like a Bella. Bella. She's always on her tippy. Toes. She never scoots around on her. Bottom. Because nobody wants to go to the monkey scooting ballet. All right, we already know that. We already know that we hold our paintbrush so she's up and down vertical not diagonal, not horizontal, wait a little paintbrush. And we also know to keep our fingers out of the danger zone. Because if your fingers are in the danger zone, they are in danger of getting dirty. Ah! God, don't scare me like the fingers are Stop beating! <laughs> Gonna give a lady a heart attack. All right, now here's what I want you to do before you paint. I want you to see how much Pressure to put on your brush. Pressure is how hard or lightly you press on something. So watch. I'm putting a very light pressure. <laughs> it should tickle your hand. This does not tickle. It just scratches. So that's not the right pressure. Test it before you paint. That water. Don't. Yeah, it's just the water. Don't put paint on your hand. You don't even want to put water. I probably should have done this before I woke up the paint, but it should be very light. <laughs> it should be very tickly, okay? I'm gonna start little, and then go around, and around, and around, and around. If I want to change colors, wash, dry, grab more water. That's new. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Wash, dry, get more water, change colors. 
If you messed up on one, <coughs> it's okay. Just try it again. <coughs> I'll try it again. I'm gonna go around and around. Sometimes they get so big they can bump into another one. I'm filling my whole paper with spirals. Sometimes your paintbrush might make a scratching line. What's your paintbrush trying to tell you? Um, what field if it makes a scratching line? What field? If it makes a scratching line, what's your paintbrush telling you? Did somebody help my man? What field? Roy's got his hand up so quietly. What's up, Roy? He means it means that he needs him. He needs a bath. He needs a bath. Oh yeah. He needs a bath. He needs more water, right? He always seems to be on his tippy toes. Thanks, Whitfield. And then. My friend Roy said, if it makes a scratchy line, it's trying to tell you it's thirsty when art class is over. If you did not finish, that is... Okay! Who's that? Now we'll go shopping. I'll go shopping. For the same thingies. Big paper. Big paper. A little paintbrush. Take it to my seat. Use one of these things. Write my name. Teacher code.